UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, Big Train. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy, will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Opens up with a front kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Big front land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? 
good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice. Oh, big head kick lands. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Just misses there with the left. Misses with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. Back to the feet now. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Nice sneaky head kick. Spinning back fist. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice one, two there. That's a nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, single collar tie now. Huge knee land. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Just missed on the It's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up right I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Unable to land with that punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Fixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, what a punch! I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big power shot there. Left hook to the head. Round two straight ahead. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Big kick lands. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch there by Lee. Nice leg kick, Lance. Lance with the right hand. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Can't take many of those, you better check. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night for that lady. Right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Oh. Sound defensively blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Head off the center line, slips the puck. You saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Great punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick lands. Very tricky when you throw that body kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. What a body kick. Big body kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Beautiful hit, kick. Oh, a huge block there. Takedown defense holds up. Nice leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Tricky head kick. Well, no surprises. Punch lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Oh, beautiful leave the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. 30 seconds to go in round two. For him now, you see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, 
he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots, and those shots. What a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Punch over the top. There's no give on that leg kick. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Off. Oh. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Leg kick. Oh, he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with the head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the turnover in that kick. Beautiful body kick. Punch his block. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> nice loop and punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Massive head kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch by Lee. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well placed kick there by Lee. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, straight right. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Lee's knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. Nice kick. He loaded up that right hand, too. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Like he might have landed. Oh! Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lee's 
right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. That one's not good. Nice strike. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. Liver oh, kick. He works the body as well as anybody on the roster. Well done with the combination there. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner, Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? Fight! Oh! He's hurt bad. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Just out of range with that left hook. What a punch. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Not there. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Flips the punch nicely there. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beings called to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 4. Going to win it by knockout, Big Bang! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think